Now welcome to another episode of the Friday Podcast. So fuck white supremacy. It's real. That's why some of us miserable. Simple raiders. But we are individual. Welcome to December. Um, this is the Friday podcast, uh, number 28. All right. All right. And, you know, um, Thanksgiving has passed and I had a little nice Thanksgiving with my, with some close relatives. Um, you know, I had a little break from work. Uh, got to hang out with some of the odd squad for a little, well, several times throughout the break. Um, but the main thing that consumed most of my time this this week and the previous weeks is uh, Harry Potter. All right, so I've been I've been I've been listening to the audio books of Harry Potter from book one to book eight. And uh, they're incredible. Incredible. And um, and then I watched all the movies from what I could catch them on YouTube uh, until I have the financial stability to buy all of them and shit. Just extra bread for it. But I mean, man. It's really good. That's all I can say. It's really, really good. I'm very surprised. I used to hate on Harry Potter back in the day because whenever it was popping, like I was instead of instead of magic, I was into uh chemical magic in the brain. You know what I'm saying? I was I was I was listening to uh I wasn't listening to no audiobooks back then. I wasn't really reading no books either. Except for my junior year, I had to I had to read one book called The Good Earth. Um, yeah, but, uh, and uh, there's so much to say. The surprise about Snape is dope. Um, just everything about Harry Potter is dope. Um, I still think the prisoner of Azkaban might be my favorite. I'm not sure though. I mean, they're all fucking... I love how the Cursed Child fucking... Um, I love how Harry named one of his sons, uh, Albus, after Dumbledore. And uh, Severus after um, Snape. And um, I find it incredibly interesting that... It, it, it This is a, a franchise that's on par because it's expanded into the Fantastic Beasts. And um, this franchise competes with gigantic things like Marvel, uh, Star Wars, uh, what else, you know, DC, it, there's fandom in every, in everything, but Harry Potter came from a book, from a lady, and um, it was cool how some of the movies were coming out after like the books, like right after the books, so that it was uh, at one point they, it was all new, the whole story. Um, yeah, I, it is really dope. And uh, I did a little test. My Patronus is a Marsh Harrier, which is a bird. The bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. So I, I don't really know what to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know if it's because of the weather. Um, uh, 
<clears throat> full moon tomorrow. So if you got those um, crystals, make sure you put them out there if it's not raining and shit. So they can recharge. So since I ran out of everything to watch, you know what I'm saying? Or I've been listening to like interviews and shit. What's like? And uh, yeah, I ain't know that. What's her name? Oh, I thought that was just a beat. That'd have been cool. I need to get some more beats. Okay. So I know Dumbledore was gay. Um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really change the story. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dumbledore. Albus. Yo, he has a long ass name like I do. I got like four names because I'm Hispanic. Shout out to the Order of the Phoenix. Um, so if you see behind me, it's kind of hard to see there. But I got this big ass jar my pops gave me from... Uh, I guess it's Ja, he's a bartender. It was like, there was olives in this bitch. So I put some different stickers. Um, and then on the inside, I got like the old boxes of carts and shit. Pretty fire, huh? Shout out to Luna. Luna's fucking dope as fuck. And uh, what's his name? And then on the inside, I got lighters and shit. It's hard to see. You can see some of them. <clears throat> Here's one of my favorite ones right here. The Cheech and Chong hit him. Oh, shit. This one is dope, and I forgot it also has 777 on the barcode. <clears throat> <clears throat> of course, I'm an Aquarius, so I like my Aquarius ones. <clears throat> oh, this one's a dope one, too. That Bob Marley hitter. Shout out to my old school cell phones. Whoa. I've never seen this happen before. There's, like, smoke coming from inside of... And I was like, what the fuck is that sound? I thought like somebody was creeping behind me with an invisibility cloak or something. Look at that. Y'all see that? Never have I ever. That's the trippiest thing. Wow. Crazy. Oh yeah, I gotta put my jar back there. Yeah. I'm turn that bitch up. So yeah, oh, this is a new one right here. There's a couple new lighters gonna be added to my collection soon. I got 25 lighters on my dresser. Yes, sir. I never complain. Never put the Lord's name in vain. And if I do, it's just an accident, food, or the joke. And the Lord knows it, and he shows it. Man, I go hard. Feel like the chosen one on the boulevard. Ain't got no scar, but I got the glasses. Might catch me learning magic in some classes. Man, it's the molasses. I'm going so slow with the mind on the vision and the vision on the flow. Man, I don't know. Might just smoke a little more. Might just blaze another piece, another motherfucking drove. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All that McGonagall. I'm, I'm Gryffindor, but I got, you know, extra stickers and stuff. Um, man, Voldemort is one dope villain. 
And it's crazy how when Dumbledore like had a trick Harry into thinking that he had to die. And he was ready to do it, man. He was he was ready to die for his people and shit, man. Shout out to Neville Longbottom. Shout out to uh oh Fred and George Weasley, the fucking twins. Those legendary twins. The 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 shit that they did in the book was way cooler than the shit that they did in the movie. Uh, the movie just gave like a part of it. Uh, but it was still good though, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dank. Plug Essentials, baby. Uh, with the underscores in between the words. Right now, I have a little bit left over of Black Diamond. Of course, it's CBD. I got some uh, Strawberry Kim, I think. And some white gold. But I just hit with some white gold. I think I'm about to... Um, let's see. I want to get high. I want to get fly. I want to get by. I want to get... I want to get blazed. I want to get dazed. I want to get lost in a sticky purple maze. I want to get thrown. I want to get slow. I want to get... I want to get... Man, that's I need to put that jam, bro. I wanna get, cause I got the full version. Put on my music, my YouTube channel. You know what? I did write some shit down. I was thinking, um, well, let me let me keep talking Potter before I get into some, some risky shit. Um, I really, really, really want to go to Universal Studios, to Diagon Alley, um, and I know y'all might not think, I mean, I, I believe there's real magic, dark and light magic and whatnot, but a lot of it's just energy, a lot of magic is just energy and words and and that's why you gotta say words a lot of times to do magic, because you say saying there's energy in words, and there's power in words, and there's power in speech, and voice, and shouting, and talking, and whispering. There's power in it. And it's energy. And in a sense, it's like magic. I mean, it's, it's almost magical how you can, um... You can make somebody fucking, uh, smile, almost. Even if they don't want to smile, right? And you you, you 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 can still make them smile because you smile at them or some shit. Or you tell them a joke or some shit. That's magic, bro. At least in my opinion, that's magic. I hate letting people down. Even if it's just for a little bit. Even if it's just for a day. Even if I have to handle something. Even if, it, you know, it's hard for me to put myself first at some time. When it comes to friends and, and co workers sometimes, but family, it's not hard for me to put myself first, unfortunately. Unless it comes to my son. Um, yeah, that's just being honest. That's probably not bad or good or whatever. It's good to be selfish sometimes because when you're too. Selfless. Uh, sometimes people take that shit for weakness. And they'll take advantage of you. And that's never fun. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Texas, man. Made in Texas, man. You gotta watch out. We all need defense. Against the dark arts, baby. Uh, now, nah, what I was thinking was earlier. I was thinking that it's it's kind of bizarre how in porn uh, the scenarios in porn are so ridiculous, but they're I think they're needed because it gives you a a, a, a tiny little chance of the, your imagination to conceive actually coming across the scene or being involved with the scene or knowing somebody that's in the scene. Or I mean, at least for me, that's what it does for me. Maybe there's people who 
I've, I've had experiences, so when I watch it, I imagine myself, you know, or it's, I don't know, it's weird. I don't recommend anybody getting into it. If you've never done it before, it's just like anything else, okay? Porn is just like alcohol, cannabis. It's a drug. Should I even go far as to say uh, social media? And and I think the best time to introduce anybody to all that shit is after 18. Um, once the brain is developed. If you're gonna introduce this, like you can live your life without no fucking pornography. You don't need it. Uh, some people w would do better with it, I think. Right. Because they don't be so familiar. Never feel in their fear in the night. That's what I meant to say. No fright. But I do feel the night. Roll tide. Roll tide. I fucked up already. That Mandela <laughs> effect is real. A lot of people say, nah, this doesn't save the world. But there's a part, not nothing in the beginning, at the end. Yo. It, 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 they say it doesn't say it, but it says it. Alright? So maybe this came from before the combination of the timelines and shit, bro. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that bananas? What does it mean? It's just another piece to the puzzle. We're like Harry Potter just trying to figure this shit out. We're all chosen ones. We on the block. In the drop with a magic wand in my fucking Glock, in my Glock. And I got some, uh, man, R.I.P. the Hedwig, bro. They took him nasty. They say it represented like his childhood, his innocence. But it was gone. Man, he didn't even get to, uh, did he graduate? They didn't show his graduation. I'm assuming he graduated, man. Get that cover, and then um, Jenica, like her little mini series, part two. I haven't read none of those. I need to. Also, I'm like in the middle of this one, Undiscovered Country, which I talked about before. But this is issue nine. But look at that. That's a dope ass cover. Look at my. Oh, well, there's my bookmark. But, uh, yeah, this one looks interesting, too. So I need to finish those. And then I'll come back and talk about them with y'all. Um, shout out to this journal. Uh, I haven't really been doing it the way that they want you to because, you know, they say you choose, like, a, a, a particular path, right? Look at my cool little drawings. Look at that cute little guy. Um, so there's like choose your journey, there's destination journey, start on page six, humanitarian journey, start on page six, and then you're just, you're supposed to just answer the questions for that one. But I said, fuck that, I'm going on all the journeys, I'm doing all of them. I'm doing the humanitarian, the destination, the overcomer, the chaotic resolve, the achievement, self-discovery, writing a new chapter, mending fences. Self improvement, spiritual journey, and uh, and so like for instance, so I'm doing all of them, right? So for instance, my destination journey. Uh, it says retreat to your childhood. Make a list of all the things you thought you wanted to be when you were younger and why. List everything, even if it was a circus clown. So for me, it was a rapper, um, artist or comedian 
So I feel like also, what else did I want to be? I was never very athletic, so I didn't like I didn't like sports. I liked art, um, and I liked rapping really early on in middle school. My humanitarian journey. What causes, charities, or organizations are close to your heart and why? And we, you know, I'm woke as fuck, boy, too woke. I'm woke in PC culture. I don't trust most charitable organizations, but I'll donate my time to the kids at, the, at, the, at my job sometimes. Because I know it helps them and it's also convenient. I know it's a little fucked up, but I'm not going to go. Like, I have a son. Right? And so, if I'm going to be doing any humanitarian shit, I need to go spend time with him. But most of the time, because of my job is so demanding, physically and mentally and socially and all that, when I'm off work, I'm just like recuperating, basically, meditating, you know, just trying to, uh, my energy to get it all back and shit. So, my first, the overcomer's journey, it says, what, what, a, Oh my top fears. Top five fears. And how long you've had them. Yeah. This one's pretty personal. What effect do they have on your daily life? So I got this at a garage sale because it was given to one of my little cousins and she never used it. So I decided to use it. Oh, and shout out to Vino, because I got this badass fucking um I forgot what they're called. Fountain pen. Because you can drink water from it like a fountain. Eh, just kidding. Shout out to the community. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I said what I'm thankful for on the podcast. I'm thankful for um, my family who didn't disown me and my cousin because of the last episode. <laughs> Even though they probably want to disown me already. I don't know, uh, if I didn't have my son, thank God for my son. He helps me stay grounded. He helps me realize that as much as he needs my family, I need my family, despite our differences of opinions. Um. So top five fears, commitment. Yeah, that's scary as fuck, man. Sobriety. That's not really a fear. Being unhappy. I think I'm fair of dealing with what makes me unhappy. I like to push it. Man, somebody hit my car the other day. I've been putting this shit off for a long time. I need to call the insurance and shit. Maybe me saying this, putting this out in the universe, I'll be able to do it more. Uh, another fear. Getting STDs. <laughs> hey, that's a legitimate fear right there. I put, because one time I got the clap, which was burning piss. Um, Another fear. Losing my parents. That ain't used to be a fear of mine. You know what I mean? Because of the type of trauma they put me through when I was younger. I used to hate them sometimes, but now I know I need them. Maybe as much as they need me. Uh, okay, my chaotic resolve journey, which I don't know what that means. It says, write about things that are making your life feel chaotic. Chris, chaos, baby. So write about the things that are making your life feel chaotic and how it got this way. Addiction, because of trauma. Fear of commitment, because of trauma. <laughs> uh, just saw a white crane while circling fear of commitment. What does it mean? Because I, I, you know, I don't see those all the time. But because of uh, my homegirl, Crystal, I look up, like when a blue jay flies in front of you, which happened to me the other day too. What does that mean? Blue jay in front of me. Well, 
window mean let's see what it says uh it means that blue jay people i'm not a blue jay person motherfucker what does that even mean to see a blue jay means you're about to experience spiritual spiritual growth another common spiritual interpretation for blue jays is spiritual growth just read this. Spiritual growth is when someone has graduated from a different level of spirituality and on their way to reach self actualization. All right, so let's see what. Hmm. White crane bird spiritual menu. The crane is a symbol of happiness and eternal youth in Asia. In Japan, the crane is one of the mystical or holy creatures. Others include the dragon and the turtle. It symbolizes good fortune and longevity because it's a fa fabled lifespan of a thousand years. I wonder if it's, if that's, because it has like that weird little neck thing. Yeah, that's a crane. Oh, it's a heron. Well, are herons and cranes the same shit? Okay, let me look up. Yeah. Heron. Exciting menu. Oh, I'm still on images. Okay, I should have read that out loud. Sorry. Uh, Heron, if it's not great, that's why I didn't read it out loud. So the other interpretation of encounter with the Heron could mean that perhaps it's time for you to take a break. Slow down. And ponder things through. Therefore, if but then it goes da da da. Therefore, if any of them, if any of them sighted the heron prior to a hunt, they took it as a good omen that the hunt would be successful. So it's all about interpretation. Um, achievement journey. What is the biggest goal for you in life? To be financially successful and independent, doing something I love, as well as being happy, healthy. Uh, Self-discovery journey. Write about what you love to do in your spare time. And there's a list of very personal things. Some of it make music. I can read most of it. Make music, draw, smoke, chess, podcast, record music, and podcasts. I mean, well, the first one was watch podcasts, uh, napping, watching porn, <clears throat> writing a new chapter journey. What is something you need to let go of? What is haunting you or weighing you down? How can you make peace with this or rid yourself of these ghosts? My 20s and teenage years, I can make better by accepting I am in a new, better chapter of my life called the 30s. My mistake in the past, joke about them, write jokes, trauma. Mending fences. Do you hurt others to feel better about yourself? Explain how and why you try to do this. Why you think you do this. Uh, I don't try to, and if I do it and, and realize after, I try to apologize. Because I don't think I ever do that. Celebrate your strengths. I don't want to stroke my own ego, but make a list of all your good qualities and strengths. I, I did 10. I'm not going to read those. Spiritual journey, write about your current beliefs and what they mean to you. Do you believe in or practice any form of religion? I believe in the most high, the creator. I, so that's how I'm reading what I wrote on these. Um, I believe in most in the most high, the creator. I believe in his use of angels. I believe there's a lot of, uh, I believe there's a lot I don't know, but don't need to yet. I believe in signs with animals and stars and planets. I believe in some white magic. Destination journey. Describe in your own words what you think a calling or life purpose means. Right? If you think it's always related to a career, 
or something else. Finding out what you do that other people enjoy and can benefit from and you can make a living off of. Or finding peace and harmony with when and where you are in the time and universe. Finding peace and harmony with and when and where you are. With when and where you are in time and universe. I like that one. I remember writing it, but I like that. Um, humanitarian journey. Make a list of all the places you want to volunteer and why you want to volunteer there. I put your mom's house. Spend more time with my son uh, than my fam and friends. And it, and it goes on. I've gotten uh, this far. I still got all this to do. I don't know why I wrote my son's sign and mom's sign. Oh, how much do you know about yourself? They get, the questions get deeper and deeper. I haven't even finished all of them. On the spiritual journey, do you pray? How important is prayer in your life? What was the last thing you prayed about? I put, yes, I pray. Very important in my life. And I pray for confidence, competence, and energy for Xavier. Now, I guess this is when I wrote this. For health, I guess, I know. For health, wealth, and happiness, and to take care of our loved ones. I just don't pray for wealth. I just pray. I know that God takes care of us. What, write about mistakes you're going to leave in your rearview mirror. Oh, that was not going on the podcast. No, it's not. Not at all. But yeah, I, I, you know, 10 times different writing styles. So I, I like it, you know. I think y'all should check it out if you're looking for uh, good prompts to write to. Because it, it, it's not always easy keeping a diary where you just... Uh, Right about the day. Some days are, you know, I don't know. Most of the journals I keep, I write a few days and then I skip months and then I write a few days and then I skip like a couple of years and then I write. I had one. I don't know where it is. It's probably in this box in the closet. Um, that'd be pretty interesting to read too. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. And we should probably be getting on. I'm hungry. Got to do some things to get ready for tomorrow. Um, I love y'all. Thank you for everything. Thank you for listening. Y'all the best. Wait, so on the song. One more hit before I go. That's how I usually do. Let's see. Sorry. Very unprofessional of me. I have no idea what to put on. Oh, this is a good one. Dr. Louie. On the beat. Follow me. Follow me, baby. God given. How you living, how you chilling, how the heroes, how the villains, how the visions, how the worries, you should sweat, you fly in the birdies. They win for million dollar jerseys to million dollar purses. I feel like it's me first. Man, put this one on there too. And take off a couple of my wax on it. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
four, six, simple as that. Two more and understand who's breathing down our back. Trying to make a sweat and it's working so slow. Uh, I'll see you later. Excuse Got a rainbow in my pocket. Look at my eyes. Gonna do this. Can see all the knowledge. Learn more in the streets than I ever learned in college. But I still go because the world revolves around paper. Inhaling weed vapors. Smoke them out the acres. Gotta buy some more papers because I love nature. Camp is better, but the night he got some haters. It's okay. I still. I don't know where I got this from. This main shoes all cost the same. They just I've been having for a minute. I'll pass. I don't need to spend cash to look fly. And it's I like, promise it don't matter on the day that you die. I'm the future of your mind. Try and copy my style. But keep in mind. When I was a kid, I always wanted a huge one. Yeah, it's the G child born last minute in the 80s. We, we went looking everywhere for him. We couldn't find one. I remember that. Despite the trauma, they still a pinch child. Like follow me. So the promised land, that's where I'll be. And I see you when you get there. Never show your fear. We ain't never scared. So follow me. Follow me. Yeah, yeah. So follow me. That's what it is. Peace. Love y'all. God bless. Yeah.